Hello friends, welcome to New Tangent. Today we are discussing about VSAPR theory. So we will start in this particular topic. First is VSAPR theory. Next is molecular geometry. Next postulates. Then predicting the shape of molecule. Then we will start in linear molecule. Then trigonal molecule. Tetrahedral molecule, trigonal bipyramidal molecule, and last limitations of this theory. So let's start with what is VSAPR theory. VSAPR theory basically this is valence cell electron pair repulsion theory, abbreviated as VSAPR theory. Actually, this is based on the premises that there is a repulsion between the pairs of valence electron in all atoms. And this atom will always tend to arrange themselves in a manner in which this electron pair repulsion minimalized. This arrangement of the atom determines the geometry of the resulting molecule. So, here you can see two type of molecules. First, this is tetrahedral type of molecules and this arrangement make this molecule stable and electron pair repulsion minimized. And here another molecule H2S and this is an another arrangement and this arrangement make this molecule stable and electron pairs of this molecule is less repelled. So next, next come to the point that there is two type of geometry. First is electron pair geometry and there is molecular geometry. So if the number of electron dense area is different, the geometry will also be different. First, if number of electron dense area is 2, then electron pair geometry will be linear. Here, molecular geometry will also be linear. But if the electron dense area is 3, then electron pair geometry will be trigonal planar. And if there is one lone pair in this molecule, then the geometry will be bent. But if there is no lone pair, the molecular geometry will be same as electron pair geometry. Next, number of electron area is 4. Then the electron pair geometry will be tetrahedral. With no lone pairs, molecular geometry also tetrahedral. But if there is present one lone pair, the molecular geometry will be trigonal pyramidal. And if there is no two lone pair, then the molecular geometry will be bent. There another number of electron dense area is 5. The electron pair geometry will be trigonal bipyramidal. With no lone pairs, molecular geometry will also be trigonal bipyramidal. But with one lone pair, this is sawhorse geometry. And with two lone pairs, this is T-shaped geometry. And with three lone pairs, the molecular geometry will be linear. If the number of electron dense area will be 6, then electron pair geometry will be octahedral. With no lone pairs, molecular geometry also octahedral. And with one lone pair, molecular geometry will be square pyramidal. With two lone pairs, molecular geometry will be square planar. And with three lone pairs, the molecular geometry will be T-shaped. And with four lone pairs, it will be linear. So here you can see this electron pair geometry and molecular geometry will be different. If there is present electron pair lone pairs, that is 1 lone pair, 2, 3, 4, that's it. Clear? Okay. Next, come to the point postulates. 
What is the postulates of BSEPR theory? First, in any polyatomic molecules, polyatomic molecules that is the molecule made up of three or more atoms. So, any polyatomic molecules, one of the constituent atoms is identified as the central atom to which all other atoms belonging to the molecule are linked. Here in NO3 minus molecule, you can see one constituent that is N, which is identified as central atom. And other atoms that is three oxygen molecule linked to this central atom N. Next postulate. The total number of valence and electron pair decide the shape of the molecule. The total number of electron pair in valence cell which decide the shape of this molecule. Next, the electron pairs have a tendency to orient themselves in a way that minimizes the electron-electron repulsion between them and maximizes the distance between them. Electron pairs have a tendency to orient themselves in a way. It minimizes the electron-electron repulsion and electron pair bond pair repulsion and maximizes the distance. Next postulate, the valence cell can be though as of sphere wherein the electron pairs are localized on the surface in such a way that the distance between them is maximized. Okay. Next point, should the central atom of the molecule be surrounded by bond pairs of the electrons, then the asymmetrically shaped molecule can be expected. Okay. Next point, the VSPR theory can be applied to each resonance structure of the molecule. Next, come to the point, should the central atom be surrounded by the both lone pair and bond pairs of the electrons, the molecule will tend to have a distorted shape. Next postulate, the strain of the repulsion is strongest in two lone pairs and weakest in two bond pairs. If electron pairs around the central atom are closer to each other, they will repel each other. This result is an increase in the energy of the molecule. Next point, if the electron pairs lie far from each other, the repulsions between them will be less and eventually the energy of the molecule will be low. Here in the picture you can see two types of geometry. First is pyramidal structure, next is V-shape. In pyramidal structure, there is bond pair bond pair repulsion between NH bonds and bond pair lone pair repulsion between lone pair of nitrogen and NH bond. But in V-shape geometry, you can see bond pair bond pair repulsion between OH, OH bond, bond pair lone pair repulsion between lone pair of oxygen and OH bond. Another one, lone pair lone pair repulsion of two lone pair of oxygen. So, these are the main BACPR theory postulates. Next, how do you predict the shape of the molecules? There are four steps to predict the shape. First one is the least electronegative atom must be selected as the central atom. Since this atom has the highest ability to share its electron with the other atoms belonging to the molecule. Okay, then the total number of electrons belonging to the outermost cell of the central atom must be counted. Then the total number of electrons belonging to the other atoms and used in bonds with the central atom must be counted. Then these two values must be added in order to obtain the valence and electron pair number or the VACP number. So these are the four ways to predict the shape of molecules. Clear? Next.
come to the point linear shape of molecule in this type of molecule we find two places in the valence well of the central atom they should be arranged in such a manner that repulsion can be minimized pointing in the opposite direction example pef2 pef2 have a molecular shape linear which have a bond angle 180 degree here you can see any type of ap or ap2 molecule has a linear shape with bond angle 180 degree clear okay next come to the shape trigonal planar shape of molecule first in this type of molecule we find three molecules attached to a central atom they are arranged in such a manner such that repulsion between the electrons can be minimized towards the corner of an equilateral triangle example bf here you can see another example that is ch2o so 3 ccl2o and there is a bond angle 120 degree between the bond pair bond pair so this is the trigonal shape of molecule clear next next come to the point tetrahedral shape of molecule in two dimensional molecule atom lie in the same plane and if we place these conditions on methane we will get a square planar geometry in which bond angle between hch is 90 degree now if we consider all this condition for a three dimensional molecule we will get a tetrahedral molecule in which the bond angle c H is 109 to 28 minute toward the corners of the equilateral triangle. Example is CH4. Here in the picture you can see CH4 has a bond angle 109.5 degree. This is the tetrahedral shape of molecule. Clear? trigonal bipyramidal shape of molecule okay let's take a example of pf5 here the repulsion can be minimized by even distribution of electrons towards the corner of the trigonal pyramid in trigonal pyramid this position lie along the equator of the molecule the two positions lie along the axis perpendicular to the equatorial plane in pf5 you can see these two axial and two equatorial plane and the angle between two ppf bond pair is 90 degree and angle between the plane that is pf 120 degree and here you can see the which is the axial position and which is the equatorial position of this trigonal bipyramidal shape clear next come to the last point that is limitation of the sphere theory first this theory fails to explain the isoelectronic species what is isoelectronic isoelectronic species that is elements having the same number of electrons they this theory fails to explain the isoelectronic species these species may vary in shape despite having the same number of electrons next the bsepr theory does not shed any light on the compounds of transition metals the structure of several such compounds can not correctly described by this theory this is because the bsepr theory does not take into account the associated sizes of the substituent groups and the lone pairs that are inactive another limitation of bsepr theory is that it predicts that halide of group 2 elements will have a linear structure 
whereas their actual structure is a bent one clear oh there is some question which is very important for your exam please solve this question you can take a screenshot of this page and solve this question and please solve this question you can take the screenshot of this page and if you have any doubt please contact with us for more details visit to our website www.newtongate.in or call us on this number please like and share our video and subscribe our channel newtongate thank you